Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new video here on the second channel. Today we're going to look at some brand new cards that have been revealed over the past few days here from the Stellar Miracle set, which of course we are going to be getting um, a little bit later in the year. Uh, we did already see a bunch of reveals from the set, so these reveals are a little bit smaller, uh, but some of these new cards are interesting. In fact, one of the new cards is literally like a Shempow EX counter, which is actually pretty funny that they printed like a Shempow counter card. So we're going to be looking at all these new cards here. Nothing too crazy, nothing too big, uh, but I did want to look at them nonetheless and see what was going on with these new cards and seeing if there could be any sort of play with them at all. I'll leave a link to Poke Beach here, the site I'm using down in the description below, and if you're new to the second channel, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. We're on the road to 15k subs, and if you want to enjoy the video, leave a like and all that stuff. So, starting this off, we do have a new Vigavol line to look at here. Now, the new Vigavol line is actually fairly interesting, and that's mainly because of the new Charger Bug, which might be more interesting than the actual Vigavolt itself. Charger Bug does have the attack parallel lineup for one lightning energy you can search your deck for up to three charge a bug and put them onto your bench that is actually really cool i mean that's flat out mirage step i mean mirage step curly i saw a lot of play within gardevoir now obviously we don't have any like crazy vigavolts like we did with gardevoir but being able to fill up your bench with charge a bug is really really good for anybody who likes playing vigavolt now there is a vigavolt in the format that can do a lot of damage i think you can do like 280 damage if you have two charge a bug on your bench so the best way to play this Charger Bug is probably going to be with uh, that Vigavolt that for two lightning can potentially do like 280 if you have a bunch of charge Bug in play. And this is the most efficient way to do that. And if for whatever reason we end up getting some good Vigavolt cards down the road, if we get a Vigavolt EX at some point, then uh, we already have an optimal Charger Bug. So it is cool that they did give us a Mirage Step in this format in the form of a Charger Bug. And there are some other Vigavolts within the format too. Now the Vigavolt itself... Um, you know, it's fine. It's something crazy. It's got the attack Volt Switch for one lightning. does 90 damage, and you switch it with one of your bench lightning Pokemon. Um, you can't switch in anything, so you're not able to switch into, like, Mimikyu or Clefki or Fluttermane, um, which is unfortunate. I don't know if there's any good lightning Pokemon to go into. And its other attack just does 240 for four energy. Nothing too crazy on this Vigavolt. I would argue that the other Vigavolts that have been, um, given to us in the past are probably just better than the new Vigavolt. But the important thing to highlight here is, of course, the Charger Bug. Next up, we have a new Caracosta which, of course, does evolve from the Antique uh, Cover Fossil. You can play it down as if it were a 60 HP basic. This card cannot be affected by special conditions, but also cannot retreat, and then you can discard it from play. Now, it does have an ability here. Prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon, which is kind of funny that they had to give the Fossil this effect because it would get swallowed up by Dragapult EX. You put the Fossil down with 60 HP, and then Dragapult just knocks it out. So thankfully, they did give it an ability where Dragapult cannot knock it out on the bench, which is pretty nice because the Caracosta actually is... It's fairly interesting. It's got the ability Primal Knowledge. Your opponent's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So yeah, your Pokemon's attacks can do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That isn't bad at all. Of course, this ability does stack. It looks like you can have multiple Caracosta in play. Now, it will be a little difficult to get multiple Caracosta out, in all honesty, because um, it is a bit of a niche card, because you do have to evolve it from an actual item card. It's not a basic. You can't Buddy Poffin for the Fossil, but... Still a really nice ability. I mean, 30 more damage can make all the difference. Um, the ability, like I said, does stack. I'm not sure what you would play this with. I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of cards out there. Like, literally, the first thing that comes to mind is literally Charizard EX. Theoretically, Charizard gets a lot of value from doing 30 more uh, default damage. So that could be kind of cool. Um, yeah, not a bad ability. Could see some play within different decks. Um, if you can figure out a way to get it into play, you can use Rare Candy with Caracosta. So you can Rare Candy from your Fossil. So there is one way to get the Caracosta out. Next up, we got a new Slowking here. It's got the attack Inspirational Challenge here for a Psychic and a Colossus Energy. Discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a Pokemon without a rule box, choose one of that Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. That's actually a fairly unique attack. Now, thankfully, the card does only need two energy to do this. Now, from the looks of it, you don't actually need the energy required to use the attack. So let's say you copy an attack from a, a Pokemon that does like 250 damage for like five energy. Well, all of a sudden, you only need it for two energy. Now, the, the challenge with it will be getting the card on top of the deck. Obviously, you're not just going to play like a YOLO type of strategy where you just hope that your top card is a Pokemon. The best way to use this actually could be with the Morpeko from uh, Twilight Masquerade or the brand new Stadium card that does allow you to put a card 
from your hand on top of your deck. So honestly, not a bad attacker, because in theory, you can play this with any Pokemon without a Robux. Now, obviously, Robux Pokemon are slightly weaker than EXs, but copying non-Robux attacks is fine. There's enough Robux non-Robux Pokemon out there that have really good attacks that you can copy that probably can do a decent amount of damage. So not a bad card. Definitely could be a really fun bad deck Friday deck. That's what I'm looking forward to is the Slow King Bad Deck Friday deck and trying to come up with a cool concept for how to make it work. Because like I said, you can power it up maybe with Zatu. Um, you can use the um, the new stadium to put a card on top of your deck from your, your hand, which allows you to guarantee a Pokemon with the attack. So definitely a really interesting card for sure. And definitely going to be a fun little meme deck to try out. And then finally, we got the Shen Pao counter I was talking about. We have a brand new Kling Clang. It's got the ability Emergency Spin. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your hand and your opponent has a Stage 2 Pokemon to play, you may put it onto your bench. So right away, you'll notice if you're playing against Shen Pao, they have a Bax Calibur in play, which they will because their deck needs Bax Calibur to function. You can immediately play down Kling Clang from your hand for free, kind of like how you would play Luxray down from your hand. Now, the nice part is it is a metal Pokemon. Shenpao happens to be weak to metal. Now, your main attack, Hyper Beam, for two colorless energy, does 130 damage. You have to discard all energy from this Pokemon. So the idea behind the Kling Clang is if you're playing in Shenpao, and luckily you don't have to be behind or anything, you could just put this down whenever you want when they have a stage two down, not just when you're behind in prizes. You can play the Kling Clang down from your hand, Put a double turbo on it, put it into the active spot. With a double turbo, you're still doing 220 damage to the active Shenpao EX. Knocked it out. Not to mention the Kling Clang has enough HP to not get killed by Ampu very much because it has 140 health. So it's kind of funny that Pokemon decided to print a Shenpao counter. I mean, it's not like Shenpao is really like the best deck in the format. I mean, it's still like a really good deck. I actually think Shenpao's in a decent position right now in our current format, but I don't think the deck is like. It's not like new VMAX levels of, like, you need a Drapion and Spirit Tomb to be printed in order for that deck to be slightly balanced. Um, I don't know. It's kind of funny they had to give us a Shampao counter. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't know how good this card actually is. I mean, in order for it to actually function, you are going to need stuff like double turbo energy. But it definitely can swing the prize trade, as it cannot be killed by Bax Calibur or Iron Hands due to it having 140 HP. So this Kling Kling is actually pretty cool. Um, so I don't know. It could be fun. It could be good in, like, a control-style deck to deal with Shampao. Um, though I feel like there's other ways to be Shampao, like Devo, Boss, Lost City, Eerie. Those are all really good cards. But now we have Kling Clang, which could be really good if you're playing a deck with DT. And if for whatever reason your deck struggles against Shenpao, we now have Kling Clang in the format. Not to mention, this could be good in, like, Torterra. Just a deck that wants to put evolutions in play, you know? It's, you know, you can use it against Charizard and Dragapult. Like, it's a Pokemon that specifically says if there's a stage 2. So, really cool Clink Clank for sure. But there you have it, folks. Those are the brand new cards that Garfield. Again, nothing too crazy. No new items or anything like that. But I did want to highlight some of these Pokemon because I think all the cards were fairly interesting. The Charger Bug's really cool. The Karakos is decent. The Slow King's going to be fun. And then, of course, the Shen Pao counter card, Clink Clank, definitely is something I wanted to talk about. Hope you all enjoyed today's video here on the second channel. If you did, leave a like. Let me know what you think of these new cards down in the comments below. I'll leave a link to Poke Beach down below also if you want to check out any of these cards for yourself and that'll be for me hope you all enjoyed and i'll catch you on another video Bye bye